Welcome to the Walk Talks podcast, a resource produced by Southland Christian Ministries located in Ringgold, Louisiana. Our purpose is to provide you with daily devotions so that you can faithfully grow in your relationship with Christ each and every day. We hope these truths will be an encouragement to you as you hear from God's Word today. Welcome everybody. This is Walk Talks. This is Dan. And I'm here today to talk with you about something uh, that I feel like those that have been to camp may understand a little bit more. Uh, Maybe you've made decisions at camp, and maybe you're at a time right now that you have not kept those decisions. You know, I think we look at the Bible, we look at the disciples, and we think of these men that are very holy men, and they were, these were men that were chosen by Jesus Christ to follow after him and to hear his teachings. But I can't help it as we look in the New Testament, uh, especially the writings of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and we see that these men had their own issues. These men wanted to know who was the greatest. These people doubted the Lord These men didn't understand the teaching of Christ as he was talking about his crucifixion. But one person that sticks out to me because of my third grade Sunday school teacher was Peter. She told me that Peter, the disciple that would stick his foot in his mouth, and in third grade, I really truly believed that Peter was the most flexible disciple and that he could stick his foot in his mouth. No, but that's not what she was saying. She was saying that Peter liked to jump up and say something. And when you say something you shouldn't be, you're sticking your foot in your mouth. Well, Peter was definitely one of that. He wanted to be the best of the best. He took his eyes off Christ when he's walking on the water. But most importantly, something that he does is he denies Christ thrice. If you look in your Bibles, if you have them, if not, just listen very closely. In Matthew chapter 14, verse 27, we have this. And Jesus saith unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the shepherd shall be, and the sheep shall be scattered. But after that I am risen, I will go before you into Galilee. And here comes Peter, but Peter said unto him, Although all shall be offended, yet will not I. And Jesus saith unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this day, even in this night, this is Jesus Christ telling him, that even tonight, before the cock crow twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. This is Jesus Christ speaking here. And Peter looks back at Christ and says this, but he spake even more vehemently, with more passion and more fortitude. If I should die with thee, I will not deny thee in any wise. Likewise also said they all, all the disciples. We see Peter here commit to Christ. He made a decision. You know what, Lord? I will not deny you. Maybe you were at camp and you said, you know what, Lord, I'm going to serve after you. I'm going to do my devotions. I'm going to commit to Christ. I'm going to reject all my old friends. I'm going to live for you. But right now you may be looking around and that decision you made is no longer there. That decision to follow after Christ is no longer there. Maybe there was a time where, just like Peter, you felt like you kept that decision. Peter fought off a guard when Jesus was being captured. He felt right then and there that, you know what, he was going to die for Christ by fighting this Roman soldier. Maybe that's the test that he thought Christ was talking about. But we see later on in verse 66, and as Peter was beneath the palace there cometh one of the maids of the high priest. Here Peter is, is in this uh, household where Jesus has been taken captive. He followed afar off. And he's there around a fire. And these maids of the high priest are coming by. And when she saw Peter warming himself, she looked unto him and said, And thou also was with Jesus of Nazareth. 
But he denied, saying, I know not, neither understand I what thou sayest. And when he went out of the porch, the cock crew. And a maid saw him again and began to say unto them that stood by, This is one of them. And he looked and he said, he denied it again. And a little after they stood by said again to Peter. They said again, all these people, surely thou art one of them. For thou art a Galilean and thy speech agreeeth thereunto. Even the words you say sound like you've been around Christ. You're a Galilean. But he began to curse and swear. And that swear is saying, you know what? I promise on my life. I know not this man of whom ye speak. And the second time the cock crew, and Peter called to the mind of the word that Jesus said unto him, Before the cock crow twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. And when he thought thereon, he wept. Maybe you're in a place just like Peter where you realize you have denied Christ. You have no longer kept the decision that you've made here at camp. In Proverbs 24, 16, there's two men mentioned. These two men are different. And you can be one of these two men. For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief that mischief being evil, to live there. You know what? Just because you've fallen, just because you've messed up over and over again, Christ still wants to use you. Christ still wants you to commit that decision that you made at camp, to live for Him, to be in His Word daily. Don't stop living for Him because you fall. Be the just man that falleth up but riseth up again. Don't be the wicked man that fall into mischief, that lives in evil. Jesus used Peter in a mighty way. He looked at Peter and asked him if he loved him, and and Jesus knew, but Peter committed to love the Lord and to feed his sheep. Decisions made at camp can still be kept. Just recommit to God now. Surrender what you need to do to Him. Or are you going to stay fallen and be the wicked man? Or will you be the just man that riseth up again? Thanks for listening to the Walk Talks podcast. We trust that what you've heard today has challenged your walk with God. It is our prayer that through this podcast, every listener would strive to become more like Christ and faithfully live for Him each and every day. Join us next time, and God bless.